babes welcome and welcome back it's your girl midnight moon and today we're talking ipsy so we are going through our gifted ipsy july glam bag and glam bag plus today i'll be showing you each one of the products in each bag as well as showing you a small makeup tutorial with some of the products i'll be using in these bags if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos we post tons of beauty videos lately it's been very makeup based but i do also do hair care and skin care every once in a while show your support give this video a huge thumbs up share it with friends and family and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if you guys liked any of these products or even the look that i'll be creating today without further ado let's get into it don't give a hell paparazzi baby you know they always trying to give me a million dollars like the nice disclaimers this video is sponsored not paid these products were gifted on behalf of ipsy to just share and review my thoughts on them we do get the glam bag and the glam bag plus so i'll be sharing both those boxes in this video as well as every month so subscribe if you haven't even though this video is sponsored slash gifted as always, my reviews and opinions and thoughts will always be 100% honest and authentically me because I'm not going to give you products that are not going to work for me. And also, always keep in mind, guys, even if we have the same type of beauty concerns, what products work for me still may not work for you because everybody is different and everybody is unique in their own way. I'm super excited to be working with Ipsy. Now, Ipsy is a beauty-based subscription company where you can basically pay a certain amount a month for each different subscription and get these products to try out for yourselves. So the first subscription we have is the Glam Bag. Now all of them do come with their own personalized little travel case slash makeup bag, which is really cute. They're different every month. The Glam Bag, which is this one right here, comes with five sample size products. It's $13 a month and it values around $50. The Glam Bag Plus, which is this baby right here, comes with five full size products and it retails for $28. The value of this bag is around $120. Then we also have the Glam Bag X which I actually do have for the month of August. So stay tuned this month. I believe that one doesn't come with the bag. This one is actually super exciting because this is an upgrade. So it only comes quarterly. It can be an upgrade to either the Glam Bag or the Glam Bag Plus, but if you have both, it'll be your upgrade to your Glam Bag. This is a limited edition box. I don't believe these usually come with bags. They actually work with a different celebrity on each one of these boxes and these celebrities actually throw in some of their favorite products so it's super exciting with this box you get seven to eight full-size products it values around 350 dollars and just so you guys know the glam bag x because it is an upgrade it's going to be a little bit more so if you have the glam bag and you decide to upgrade it it's going to be whatever the glam bag price is plus 45 dollars and then with the glam bag plus it's going to be whatever that is plus $30 for the upgrade. Now, there is also one new thing that I have heard watching Ipsy unboxing videos that there is now a service slash handling fee. I uh, believe the fee is around $2, so just keep that in mind. And there, I'm not positive, but I am pretty sure there are taxes as well. So again, just keep that in mind. It's gonna be a little bit more. Let's get into this month's Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. So first we're gonna talk about the Glam Bag. This month's theme for July 2022 is Soak It All In Baby. So the sun, the shimmer, the SPF, this month's savor every moment. Whether it's an impromptu pool dip or self-care spa day, and leave those to-dos till tomorrow. Now, as a mom of two and currently pregnant and also mom of a dog and some fish, uh, we definitely have always busy days. So I totally get that and I totally vibe with it. Now, we got this really cute summer festive vibe going on, beach vibe. It has this little starfish charm on it, which is absolutely adorable. I'm gonna be keeping this bag because I know we're gonna get a lot of bags from Ipsy being on their PR list. So I'm gonna have a ton of these. 
So stay tuned for giveaways, guys. But I'm definitely gonna keep this bag. This is so cute. And it has like this textured beach style fabric on it. I'm gonna talk about the products first and then we're gonna get into what we're gonna use because I don't wanna keep switching back and forth from the bags for you guys. So you, at least you get the idea of what's in each bag first and then we can create our look. First product we have is this MAC Stack Mascara, which I'm super excited for because I don't own too many MAC products. I literally just recently got my hands on my first MAC product and that was a lipstick. And I still have not yet to use it because I'm waiting to do a nice little reel on Instagram. Follow me there at Midnight Moon Makeup. But this is the MAC Stack Mascara. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Again, these are all sample size. This is how the packaging looks. And you guys gotta see this one because of course I did open it up just to check it out. Take this excess off. Look at that wand. That is just a gorgeous wand. So I can't wait to try this out. It's a infinite build volume and lengthening mascara. I believe you can stack this up to 40 times, which is a lot of stacks. I don't think we'll be needing that many, but uh, this is how the lashes are supposed to look before and after says super stack mega brush our bigger brush for volume at first swipe petal shaped bristles hug and coat lashes from roots to tips weightless formula for limitless volume and length potential no clumps included so i am super excited to try this out the next product i'm pulling out the box and i did use this one already this is the smashbox the original photo finish smooth and blur primer now i think this is actually one of the first primers i've ever used when i started getting into makeup and i from what i remember i loved it but i just tried it on again and i forgot guys how much i loved it like my makeup looks so good right now i use a blurring and hydrating primer right now which is silicone free i'm not sure if this one is silicone free i don't believe it is but it works beautifully and i feel like it actually works better than the one i use now don't get me wrong i still love the one i use now but on days where i really need a good blurring and just nice non-textured skin this is it i will have a clip in here for you guys so you can see how it applies it does feel very silky when first applying and it does feel like it's kind of coating your face but it's not heavy and it doesn't feel clogging but i really don't remember how it was when i first tried it it doesn't smell like anything which is even better it says on the back this primer is the first product ever created at smashbox we developed it to help makeup look better and last longer on set it instantly blurs fine lines and pores leaving skin with a velvety smooth even finish it's still our number one selling product and the best way to start your makeup every day it has a blend of vitamins a and e grapeseed extract and green tea which is known to be soothing and it's also lightweight and oil free again the sample size and this is how the actual primer looks i do actually currently have their newest version of their primers they just launched the photo finish control primers and i have the salicylic acid one i believe this one right here the mattifying control salicylic acid and i love this stuff but I honestly think I love this one more. And I do want to mention, I'm not sure if you guys got a little mix up in your bags for July. I do know a lot of the people that get their gifted boxes did get mix ups because now they, this bag, as I mentioned already, you do get sample size products. So in this bag, we did get one full size product, but it actually ended up being two. And then the Glam Bag Plus, we got a sample size product. So I think there was a little mix up and I'll tell you guys which one it was in a second. So we actually found this little baby right here in the Glam Bag Plus. And this is the OC Ocean Cleanser. And this is made for normal combo and dry skin types. It removes impurities and excess oils with our pH balanced formula. Seaweed provides mineral rich hydration for a clear radiant complexion you can see and feel. You can use this morning and night. Um, I, this did get mixed up for what you guys are gonna see in the Glam Bag Plus, 
which is the Rowan Beauty Lip Balm because like I said, that is a full size product. So this I believe was supposed to be in the glam bag. But if you guys have had the same thing, then let me know in the comments. This is what it looks like and I can't wait to try this out. I don't touch my skincare too much in these bags mainly because we have a lot of skincare, so I just need to wait till some of my stuff runs out before I can use them. Next product we have is this Gold Fading MD Problem and Uneven Skin Tone Solution Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. It contains vitamin D, hyaluronic acid, and gooseberry. And it says Dr. Gold Faden's multifaceted hydrating moisturizer delivers a brightening glow to all skin types. You can apply this morning and night. Now the last product we have is this baby right here and this is the full size product we got in our glam bag. Uh, sometimes I guess you do get the uh, full size but there shouldn't be more than one I believe. So this is the Prestige Waterproof Automatic Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Bronze. This is what it looks like. I love getting eyeliners. I don't tend to use uh, pencil eyeliners on my actual for my actual liner because I feel like they never really make a sharp wing unless you're using like tape or something, which I just feel like is a whole lot of work that I don't need to do right now. So I love these for the waterline because they usually glide pretty easy and really give that pop of color. This is what the pencil looks like on the inside. Looks like a very beautiful color. And now that we've talked about our glam bag, let's get into our glam bag plus so again the glam bag plus comes with five full size products first product i'm going to pull out is this baby right here this is the if i'm saying it correctly avrani holistic skincare rituals balance restoring serum this contains tea tree oil chamomile flower and cucumber extract and i'm excited i love a good serum and then just look at this packaging it is so freaking beautiful it's giving me such spring vibes especially this back part right here all these pretty flowers and i'm a blue girl i love blues and purples and colors of that sort so this right here got me just off the packaging itself now you guys gotta see the inside because the inside is gorgeous look at it look at this pretty blue bottle oh my gosh just absolutely gorgeous and this is meant to be pore shrinking, balancing, and calming. It also says, this toning polish minimizes the appearance of pores, reinstates skin's natural moisture barrier, and helps calm the skin. Formulated with tea tree oil, cucumber extract, chamomile flowers, and witch hazel. Now, if you guys don't know, witch hazel is huge. I haven't used witch hazel in a very long time because I always forget to buy it. And because of all the skincare I get, I honestly feel like I don't need to be buying more skincare when I have enough of it. But um, Witch Hazel was one of my holy grails, but Tea Tree is also another one of my holy grails for DIY toners. The next product we're gonna pull out is the Murad Acne Control Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45 PA++++. Now this has 10 hours of oil, shine, and pore control, and it's supposed to be a moisturizer and an SPF, because it does say step three, moisturize and protect at the top right here this is what the box looks like very simple and on the back it says oil free lightweight spf moisturizer instantly minimizes the appearance of pores by 54 percent and delivers 10 hours of oil shine and pore control oil trapping micro spears mattify smooth and blur imperfections avocado and african yellow wood bark extracts visibly reduce pore size and excess oil over time as hydrators prevent dryness. This sounds amazing. It has a good high protection of SPF as well. And I do have another Murad product from my BoxyCharm from a while back. It's a AHA and BHA cleanser. So I think that'll pair beautifully with that. So we will see, we will see. Next product we have is this baby. This is the Item Beauty boost juice dual ended lash primer so i believe i've seen these all over tiktok instagram again and this is again a primer but one side is purple and one side is blue so i think you can use these alone but i think they are supposed to be better off with a mascara so we will be trying this along with the mac um mac stack mascara nourish condition and prime lashes with this dual ended primer that disappears under mascara there we go 
Lilac side volumizes, blue side lengthens, and both gives lashes the boost that they need. Choose your boost, lilac, volumize, blue, lengthen. Apply as a boosting base under mascara or wear alone for a color pop. So yes, you can wear this alone or under mascara. That's actually good to know. This is how the gorgeous, gorgeous baby looks. Just to show you the sides, this is your blue side, which is lengthening. And then you have your purple side, which is volumizing. The fourth product in this bag is this baby right here. And this is the one I was saying that got mixed up in the glam bag as well. This is the Rowan Beauty Liquid Lip Balm. I have never tried a liquid lip balm. If you guys have, let me know in the comments. This is in the shade Charlie. And it says 0% stickiness, 100% shine. Kiss that old lip gloss goodbye and say hello to your new favorite liquid lip balm. Kiss My provides the nourishment of a balm using mango and grapeseed oil, also while providing the perfect high shine finish, plus a touch of mint to surprise whoever you choose. Kiss My all day long. So with the mint, I guess it is supposed to be a little plumping. I'm really not sure because I know whenever they put like a type of mint in there or something like that, it's usually meant to plump so we will see this is also vegan and cruelty free it honestly looks more like a gloss so i'm kind of confused on how they call it a balm maybe because it's is supposed to be a balm but just more like balm lip gloss because i've seen gloss oils hybrid products baby but yes this is so beautiful the color is very cute we're vibing with it today now the last product i'm pulling out the bag which we are using this is the winged me ambitious violet palette on the back it says the ambitious violet is inspired by the lebanese american poet khalil gibran who promoted rebellion hope and purpose this palette features a signature collection of eight wildflower infused neutral shades with pops of color reflecting the essence of nature's bounty so we have a lot of purple going on here my nails my shirt so i was trying to vibe with the moment this is cruelty free and vegan and look at this gorgeous gorgeous palette itself eight shades and comes with a compact little mirror i don't want to show you the mirror too much because it might brighten the screen too much but here are your colors now i'm trying to go for like more of this side but i might use one of these neutrals for like the crease but i definitely want to go purple today this is so cute i love these two i'm definitely using these two and we're gonna vibe with it like said so now that we've talked about these products let's take them to the test and try them out i'm gonna be using the covergirl outlast extreme wear concealer uh just to make the base and make the eyes pop a little bit more and make it a little sticky for the eyeshadows. And I think the first shade I am gonna go into is Haughty, Haughty right here. And we're gonna use that as our crease shade. It's going on very nicely. gonna kind of pack that color on right at the edge because i am gonna add that darker deeper purple but that like kind of shimmery one so i just want to make sure everything pops and goes together smoothly i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera i'm gonna go ahead and actually blend the shade upwards a little bit and i'm gonna go into the shade rose while i'm doing that to just blend out that purple a little bit more as we start heading up. So that's how it's looking. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and get into the next shade. All right guys, so this is how it's looking. It's blending beautifully. And the colors are gorgeous i love the boldness of it we're gonna go into the next few shades we're actually not going to use any of the browns that i thought we were going to use 
Um, we're just gonna go into three more colors. And then we're gonna get into using the rest of the products. So the next shade we're gonna use is Tempest, which is this beautiful shimmery purple right here. We're gonna use that on the outer lid. And then we're gonna go in with Rebel, which is the lighter purple, and we're gonna use that for the inner lid. So we're gonna do like a little blend right there. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go in with my finger since these are more shimmery, they're probably gonna go in better with my finger. And just so you see the color, look how pretty that is. So pretty. Oh, just look at that. Just look at that. I am going to blend it a little bit just so these two colors come out a little more blended and flawless. See, there we go. That's how we are looking. Now we're going to go into that shade Rebel, which is that lighter shimmery purple. oh my gosh look at that that is beautiful we're gonna blend that into that tempest shimmery darker purple shade we're gonna blend that out a little bit We're gonna dip into Crushed, which is this beautiful pink shimmery shade right here. We're gonna use that for the inner corner highlight and we are gonna use a brush because my finger is not that small. And it doesn't come out like too pink, which I was hoping because I feel like it kind of would have thrown it off a little bit. It comes out more of like a pearlized pink. So it looks like more on the pearl side than anything. It could be that, you know, placed with this look, that's why it came out like this color. But it's going on beautifully with the brush too. Pretty packed on and pigmented. So I'm loving it. We're going to bring it out a little bit. And that's it for this look. Now we're going to go in with the Boost Juice Item Beauty Lash Primer. So I'm not sure which side I want to use. Because the MAC Mascara that we're going to be using afterwards from our glam bag is i believe volumizing and lengthening yes it is so do i want more volume for this look or do i want more length i think i'm gonna go with volume so let's go ahead and use the purple side and actually i'm going to curl my lashes beforehand and then apply this because i love to curl my lashes i do that before any type of makeup look i always curl my lashes that's just me personal preference Glides very smooth. Do our bottom lashes. And that's how one side looks. I don't know if you guys can really see the purple. I do have very dark eyelashes. And then because of the look, it because it is purple, you guys might not see it as much. But that's how it's looking. I'm gonna do this eye off camera and then we're gonna get into the mascara. So uh, let's see how this goes on top of the primer. It didn't take too long to take the, not the color off, but to cover the color of the primer, which is good. The volume is there. It's definitely there. And the length, if you guys can see it, it is definitely there. Honestly, I can't tell which one it is if it's the... It's probably a little of both because the MAC Stack Mascara does have volumizing in it as well as, of course, the primer side that we used. We used the vol volumizing side again. So I see, like, the thickness there. There's no clumps yet with this. Wow, that looks gorgeous. Like, I feel like I have a whole false lash on, to be honest. And I usually have 
kind of a problem with sample size products well at least when it comes to mascaras because the wands they usually don't make the same size or like because the wand is so short it's like always touching my eye and just doing a lot of unnecessary stuff but this sample size one is pretty dope let's go ahead and do these bottom lashes Wow, look at that. Look at that. Compared to that, look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Mac. Mac stack. Yes, baby. Yes. Full on yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera. And then we're going to get into the next eye product. I'm obsessed with this mascara, guys, so far. I don't, again, I don't know if it is the primer helping it. But I do know this mascara is supposed to be really good. And my lashes look really good right now. We're going to get into our next product for our eyes, which is the Prestige Eyeliner in Bronze. I'm just going to use this as our waterline color. Also, I did want to mention, because I did forget to mention, with the palette, there was very, very, very minimum fallout. Like, you guys can barely even see it, but I did see it on my mirror. Um, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of fallout again very minimal so the palette is amazing it's gorgeous and the, the colors the colors guys are beautiful it is very creamy it is very like pigmented like it's gliding right on no problems I'm going to go ahead and set my face with setting spray, add some highlight, add some lip liner and my winged liner, and then we're going to get into this last product. This does, this does have an applicator with a little like indent in it so I can pull out more product, but it honestly does not look like it's really pulling anything out. Like it's not filling up with product, so I don't know. This does look more like a gloss but it feels nice on the lip and it's going with this look very well nice little neutral moment what y'all think what y'all think again i did pair this with the lip liner so it probably would be more sheer i'm starting to feel the slight very slight mintiness of it which for me is not a problem, but for those who don't like mintiness or anything like that in their uh, lipsticks or lip glosses or whatever, you might not like this. It, it doesn't sting, but it's definitely there. You feel that cooling sensation. It smells really good too. It smells sweet. But this is the look. This is how everything came out. I'm obsessed with these bags, guys. I really am. What did y'all think about this look? What did y'all think about these bags this month? Um, I can't wait to show you guys what we got in our August Glam Bag X. So again, stay tuned. But this is the official look. This is how it came out, baby. Ignore all the ink liner on my hand. It's very summery, but I feel like it's also like club vibe. And then with the nails, yes. Let's get it. Let's get it. And then with the top yes tell me that isn't cute <laughs> it looks absolutely amazing i love the palette the palette was one of my favorite products in here um the palette and i would say what else did we get oh the mascara of course the mascara it would be the palette the mascara and the primer because i don't know what exactly is doing all this goodness right here like i said it could be both so i'm gonna say those are like my top favorite three products out these bags this month for july if you haven't uh subscribed yet then please subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss out on future videos i do upload once a week on thursdays show your support give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and that is pretty much it so as always i'll see you guys back here next thursday and as always y'all stay beautifully awesome later guys